Alright, how you guys doing? My name is Dan, and today we're going to be going over a build that I've wanted to showcase for a while, because it's one that I really enjoy using, as well as kind of being pretty effective, but it, it's kind of niche to an extent because it only excels for a certain class set, and that's kind of sniper rifles and DMRs. That's exactly what the build is. So there are different variations depending on how you want to play it, but today we're just going to be showing mine and I will mention some examples that you could change this up to how you enjoy, but without further ado, we're going to get into it. Uh, first thing in the mastermind tree, I have everything sharpshooter aced, kind of because it's a sharpshooter thing and all these kind of are beneficial because you're mainly going to be staying away from the enemies at a distance so you might as well be useful especially with a uh, high value target aced that's going to be helpful for you and your teammates mainly due to those specials as a throwaway i have force friendship in the control section we have underdog ace just in case they get close by you do have some damage reduction as well as dealing out a little bit more damage just to make sure you survive. In the tank section, we have Resilience, Transporter, and Bullseye Basic. Uh, one thing I would do is find a different perk or whatever that you want to get rid of, and you could do Bullseye Ace if, I guess, you want to be a little more aggressive, maybe. Because the plan is that you don't get shot, mainly, or at least shot as often. So having Bullseye just in case, and you're playing on one of the higher difficulties, you could go for Bullseye Ace just to get that little extra protection back. But uh, for this build as well, we're not bringing any medical supplies. We're leaving that to our teammates. And the way that we're running it is with ammo. So we have Scavenger, Bullet Storm, Extra Lead, and Fully Loaded all aced. Because I like bringing ammo. As well as if you pick up some ammo for Bullet Storm, that's pretty great. <laughs> because you can actually, if you're using a DMR in particular, like the build that we're doing right now, and the rifle that we'll be using, uh, if you do Bullet Storm, flop it in the fully auto <laughs> and just spray down the field. I love doing that, it's so great. But, anyways, technician. I did have uh, this a little changed, so <clears throat> if you're going to be using a DMR in fully auto for some reason, then I will show you a different variation, which I had initially, and that is with Steady Grip and Surefire Aced. I also had, I believe, Lock and Load Basic, and then Body Expertise Aced, but after rereading it again, it's in automatic fire mode, and for a sniper or a DMR, they're kind of in semi-auto, so it, it's kind of pointless to have that. So it was a big waste of skills. So you could throw <clears throat> uh, some points in to get body expertise if you're going to be using it in full auto. Or what I think I was actually doing this for was my SMGs. Because I, I did use an SMG mainly as a close quarters thing just in case some people rushed me. So you could theoretically use body expertise but you're only going to be using it for your secondary and the plan is or the hope is that you don't need to use it that much if at all but you know <clears throat> that's an option then under ghosts we have a, a kind of a throwaway to an extent we have duck and cover parkour and shockproof basic and shockproof is kind of a throwaway because I didn't really know what to do with three points so I decided to throw it in here, in the event that a taser gets close to you and you don't notice, maybe that 30% chance will actually be on your side. And then, for survivability's sake, we have Nine Lives and Swang Song Aced. Swang Song is kind of self-explanatory, especially if you're playing in the higher difficulties, because you get unlimited ammo for a full 6 seconds. It's great. And Nine Lives for that extra down. if you want to take this to one down um, if that's the case one little variation I would probably do 
which would be pretty interesting is getting specialized killing and the professional for silencers just so you could potentially boost the damage of your DMR or sniper even further but in this case we'll be using the DMR the AMR 16 I believe and I will show you all of the attachments now yours might look different from mine because I do have EAC or extra attachments compilation and if you guys are curious I do have a video about that which I will put a little card up on the screen right now so you guys can actually check that video out because what it does is it allows you to have a lot more attachments on weapons that normally would not have them so it's always a good thing but uh, skin doesn't matter if you have one that's cool we're using the DMR kit obviously for the barrels usually you can't do barrels if at all you probably can do only suppressors maybe because I haven't really tried this without EAC but in my case I'm using the bootstrap compensator you get from the bootleg SMG the boost we have a damage boost for the extra increased damage uh, excuse me no custom modifications auto fire or semi because we like that little swap just in case mainly for bullet storm and swung song plus you can't <laughs> because the current ammo type is not working <laughs> with it we have the tactical handguard for extra stability which there's really no difference between long ergo and tactical handguard we have the military laser module but if you want you could obviously do the LED combo or if you really want you could use a 45 degree sight if you're using a bigger scope if you want that is for close quarters but I feel like the ACOG is just fine we have the pro grip mainly due to accuracy and stability but you also could do the rubber grip I just like it because it looks a little cooler we have the thrust lower receiver magazine is the speed pull mag so you can quickly change in and out of empty magazines mainly <laughs> we have the ACOG optic scope or a cough if you want to call it that but you also could do reconnaissance I just don't like the look of it personally on it. I don't know. It's just me. <laughs> we have set track for a mod. We have the two piece stock for extra accuracy and stability. You also could do a war torn if you want to get a hundred accuracy, but at the sacrifice of some stability, so you can work around that if you want. We have the exotic receiver, or I'm just gonna call it exotic for just a little extra damage and stability kind of even the playing field and for our vertical grip which is a part of EAC we have the EFG grip so at max we have 175 damage per shot which is also pretty great but you also could use different weapons if you want change it how you please or you could run suppressors and probably get even more damage maybe close to 200 who knows but uh, for our secondary, I am just using the Castigo 45s, or 45 I should say, in its single variant. You could also use a Bronco in this case, but I'm only using the Castigo because of the one damage difference. That's really it. Plus, I use my Bronco as kind of like a pocket sniper, so having two in a way isn't really that beneficial. Melee, at the moment I'm using the pen, which is technically a pencil. But I would recommend using the taser or the, I'll just call them like the Galvan Knuckles from Black Ops. Any of the electrifying ones that can actually stagger enemies completely, that would be beneficial. Uh, I'm using the concussion grenades as well. But if you want, you could use something that has a more AOE approach to an extent that actually deals damage to them. Like incendiaries or molotovs. But I feel that the stun grenades are pretty great to line up some headshots if you need. Ammo bag, obviously, funny enough, I actually like using the ballistic vest in this case. Because you don't really want to be bogged down when it comes to uh, mobility. In the event that you need to change positions or run in and out of cover while there's a big firefight going on, 
you kind of want that middle ground of protection as well as some speed and mobility. So I decided that I'm just using the ballistic vest in this case. But depending on the difficulty that you want to play and the way that your build is tuned, you could use any of them if you want. But in this case, I'm just using the ballistic vest because it, it's kind of a nice middle ground. Or you could use a heavy ballistic vest at the cost of one speed point as well as a little bit of concealment and all your dodge because yes, we have 10% dodge chance, which is funny. Um, and our perk deck. Out of all things, I, I feel X presidents is a really nice addition to it. Because I believe, actually, the more armor you have when it comes to using X presidents the more or less, I don't remember how this fully works, that you can actually hold within a given amount. But the plan is that your armor is not going to break, that's why you have bullseye and maybe bullseye ace if you want and you just get your health stack so just in the event that something catastrophic happens and like a bulldozer rushes you on death wish or one down if you're using it a one down then you should theoretically be able to survive the attack after you kill it after he dishes some damage out because you'll have enough stacks to completely replenish your health so that is the plan but other than that that's that's really it the build is kind of kind of weird I know but um, I don't know if it's suitable for one down you'd probably need to tweak it out a little bit more if you guys want to get it just able to do one down but it should do the job nonetheless but anyways that's gonna end it I know it's kind of weird kind of not that enthusiastic but I kind of need to be quiet right now but anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Like your favorite if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already to not miss any of these videos in the future. If you guys want to get in touch with me, I got my Steam as well as my Discord linked somewhere on my channel. My name is Dan, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day, guys.